Well, good evening. It is great to see you here tonight at Highland. We're glad to have you for this evening of musical worship and praise. We're just excited that you could be a part of this evening with us. This has been an exciting day for us. This is a night we've been planning for a long time. Uh, more than a year ago, we began to plan for our 100th anniversary celebration. And uh, our planning team said immediately, we need to try our best to get Joel Rainey to come back and to do a concert here. And he has been so gracious in being willing to come here. Joel played the piano in this church from the time he was about 16 until he finished high school, uh, finished college, went off to Juilliard to study. And uh, he has literally been used of the Lord. His talent and his education has been used of the Lord around the world in concert settings like this. He's a writer, a composer. He and his wife Susie live in the Chicago area. And uh, it is just good to have Joel back home in Florence and the Shoals tonight at Highland Baptist Church. Would you put your hands together and would you let him know how grateful you are to have him here tonight? Now, just before Joel comes, if you would, bow with me and let me uh, lead us in a word of prayer, and he'll come and get us started. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the evening. We thank you for the privilege that we have to worship you and uh, to glorify the name of Christ in all that we do. And, and God, that's why we're here, and we pray, Lord, that you will use the music and the fellowship in this room and the opportunities you've given us to be together tonight for that purpose. Lord, glorify yourself among us. Use Joel. God, you've gifted him from the time he was a very young man. You've blessed him with education. You've used him around the world. God, we thank you for the privilege of having him back here tonight at Highland. And we pray you'll bless him as he leads us in this time tonight. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you most of all for the confidence we have of eternal life through Christ our Lord. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
Wow. <laughs> Good evening. It is, uh, gosh, it's great to be back in Florence, to be back home, to be back at Highland. You know, the last time I was in this building, a funny thing happened to me. I, I walked in single and walked out married. <laughs> that was back, that was September 15th. 1979. I know that because it's engraved in my wedding room um, that uh, Susie and I got married here. My story at Highland actually began when I was 14. My parents bought for me for my birthday a Hammond T400 electric organ. And that organ from Graham and Son out on Tennessee Street. And that organ came with six free lessons. And that's when I met Wanda Gilmore. Um, and that lady changed my life, uh, truly an inspiring teacher. Uh, and she was a great friend. She, she called me on my birthday every single year. Uh, we kept in touch. Wanda was special. She taught me how to arrange hymns. Um, and that's what I do. That's what you're going to hear tonight. And if you listen, you'll hear a little bit of Wanda here and there. If you, if you remember her playing, she was a a very fabulous player. Uh, she brought me here when I was 14 uh, and introduced me to J.B. Webb, who was Minister of Music, and uh, he hired me to be pianist. And I was here then until I left for college. I don't think I ever thanked him. J.B., if you're out there, thank you. That was my first job. You gave me my first job. Uh, but uh, so many great memories here. And uh, the, as I said, I'm going to play for you basically hymn arrangements. That's what I've been doing for many, many years. And uh, I, I grew up with the old Broadman hymnal. I used to take it to my organ lessons, and I would ask Wanda to just sit and play the hymns. And I would listen, and I would take notes. And man, here's what she did here, and here's what she did there. And uh, I still have that Broadman hymnal at home. I ask this every time I play, and I love to see this response, because I, I'm guessing many of you grew up with the old hymns. And uh, how many of you have a hymnal at home? Mm -hmm. How many of you stole those hymnals? <laughs> Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on with it and play for you for a while. Uh, Susie sends her greetings. Uh, she wanted to come, but we've had a very rough spring with sort of one virus after the other, and uh, the doctor thought it might be a good idea if she stayed off planes for a while. So uh, she does send her greetings. She knew I was apprehensive about this, going home and all that. And I said, as I was leaving, I said, Honey, do you have any advice for me? You've seen me play this thing hundreds of times. And she said, yes, I do. And I said, why? And she goes, play more, talk less. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do.
Um, we didn't have a, a symphony in Anderson, Alabama when I grew up. <laughs> but we did have Lawrence Welk. And that's something that uh, my family didn't miss on Saturday night. And I learned an awful lot watching that because that show was jam-packed with really good musicians. Um, Myron Florin and Joanne Castle, oh my goodness, um, they could play. I heard Myron Florin play Malaganya once, uh, which is a piece that most piano students learn at one point or another. It was written by um, Ernesto Lacuana, who is the most, I would say, the most famous Cuban musician ever, uh, except maybe for Ricky Ricardo. Uh, <laughs> And if you're under 25, you have no idea what I just said. <laughs> but I've, I really have a, had a passion, I developed a passion for that style of music, that Spanish flamenco influence. So uh, what did I do? I took All Creatures of Our God and King and arranged it to answer the musical question, what would Ernesto Laquano do? I call it a Spanish Rhapsody.
thank you. Uh, I'm going to do something I, I only occasionally do, and uh, I think Susie's watching online, and uh, she's sitting at home going, oh, Lord, what's he about to do now? Most of you know uh, that my career has been kind of different. I've done a lot of different things, but uh, the one thing that stands out to most people when they read my bio is that I spent 20 years in Chicago writing music for radio and television commercials. I wrote jingles. <laughs> I worked for what we call the Jingle House. It was a company of about nine composers, and uh, Chicago was a big hub for commercial music at the, at that, in those 70s, 80s years. And uh, I learned a lot just by observing all those, all those fine composers who could really write and get, her, get to the point in 15 seconds or 30 seconds. And you, you just absorb so much. Well, people are always asking me, what jingles did you do? Did you do anything we'd know? So, I thought I'd show you a few. The, uh, I worked mostly as an arranger, um, but occasionally they would send me to the recording studio to play piano on a session. And I, the first day on the job, they sent me to uh, play for this commercial product. And, uh, I bet you know this piece, at least if you're over 30, 40, 50. Shout it out if you know it. See? Ooh, you dated yourself. Uh, we did lots of fun stuff. Uh, one of the accounts my company had was this one. There's more for your life at Sears. I'm afraid I'm responsible for bringing this to your living room. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> plug it in, plug it in. Freshens 30 days, freshens in a new way. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> the most prestigious uh, account we ever had was this one, and if you saw a commercial for United Airlines in the 80s. You heard me playing piano on this. but I shall leave you with my all-time pride and joy. Uh, it was a commercial. Uh, in, the, in this commercial, you see uh, an older couple holding hands at sunset, walking on the beach. And it's, it's hazy. And the announcer says, live your best life with depends. <laughs> I'm going to invite two very special guests to join me on stage, Harlan Dodson and Kim Nelson. Will you? We have to have a, a stage. When I left Highland in 1978, Harlan Dodson took the bench and played here for how long, Harlan? 30 years, something like that? 
And uh, during that time, Kim Nelson came uh, and played piano. Harlan and Kim played piano and organ together for a while. But since we're celebrating history, we're celebrating Highland's 100th year, and I thought it would be fun to have three historical figures on stage. <laughs> so so uh, we're going to play a couple of pieces for you all together, and uh, hope you enjoy them. This is, a, this is a, a special treat for the three of us, too.
They can play, can't they? Yeah, Highland has a, a legacy of having very, very fine musicians. When I was here, they were just, they were just pouring out at the seams. Uh, I, as I said, J.B. Webb was here when I came, and then it was many, many years of Aubrey Gaskins. And he was here when I left, and then you've had a lot of people since then that I don't know, but that's okay. Um, as I said earlier, I'm going to talk less and play more now.
Thank you so much. You guys have been really great to play for. Let's do this again in another 45 years, okay? <laughs> uh, again, thank you to Highland, to BJ, and to Kim, and, and all the folks that uh, decided that this was a good idea. And um, it, because it's been a real honor and a treat for me to come back, to come back home. And uh, I want to leave you with a medley uh, that's just about that. It's about going home.
Wow, what a night. What a night of worship. Thank you, Joel, for leading us. We are so grateful that you were able to be here with us and willing to be here and looking forward to coming home. And you know, for almost 100 years, this church has existed to make sure people in this area hear that earnest, tender calling of the Savior to come home. And we want you to know tonight that if you've never trusted Christ as your Savior, none of this makes any difference to you. None of this matters to you. These songs don't make any impression on you because you don't know what it means to follow the Lord Jesus and know that you have a relationship with him. That's why we worship. And if you've never surrendered your life to Christ, we'd love to help you with that tonight and help you know how to find the Lord Jesus for yourself personally. Thank you to Chip Daniel and our centennial planning team for insisting that we bring Joel Rainey here to Highland. If you would like to just take a quick look at a little bit of a journey of the Highlands musical history through the years, Joel referenced a lot of it and some of the people that are out there right out on the, uh, in the hallway right here immediately to the right is a board that's been put together that focuses this month just on the musical praise and worship ministry of this church family. A lot of the people Joel talked about will be in the pictures that are out there and on the video that we'll be rolling. Stop by out there before you leave. Take a look at that and uh, maybe it'll encourage you and bless you but we are so delighted that you've been with us tonight let's take just a moment and dismiss this place in prayer and and we'll be through heavenly father we thank you for this evening we thank you so much for joel rainey thank you for his ministry thank you for the calling that you've placed on his life to serve you by through the ministry of the church and we pray you'll continue to bless and to prosper his life and his ministry his work and God, we pray that you will continue to use us for your glory as a church family. May we continue to make the name of Jesus known. We love you, we worship you, and we praise you because you are the God of amazing grace and you're everything to us. And we say all of this praise, offer you all of this praise and this thanksgiving tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you. Have a great night.